Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs. I don't know if you guys want to see a weekly vlog, but we're going to give it a shot. My life is not that exciting, but nobody's life is really that exciting that I watch on YouTube. Like in the grand scheme of things, everybody's just living their day-to-day -day life. And so I thought maybe somebody would be interested in seeing mine. So I'm going to give it a shot for the next week. Today is Saturday, August 4th. I just finished filming my jewelry declutter, so that will be up. I'm probably going to put something else with it. We'll have to see how I feel, but I have a whole plan of what I'm going to declutter today. But I'm just sitting outside and enjoying this amazing morning. It's definitely hot, but it's early enough that I can kind of sit outside and enjoy the day. I love having a super big backyard. My palm trees are just, they're thriving, guys. I've got names for my palm trees. This is Coco, because you know, of her coconut <laughs> appearance. She's a coconut palm. This one over here is Jaws, just because he is the biggest of our palm trees. So I named him Jaws, of course. It makes sense in my mind. But yeah, then I've got the caladiums over here. Just tropical looking plants, really love those. They've been doing really, really, really well. When I bought all of these originally, a lot of people were saying that these are really hard to take care of and keep alive. And I don't know if it's just been super hot here this summer, but I've done a really good job. Other than that freaking squirrel, I've got a trap out. I don't want to hurt it. I just want to relocate it. I am not a animal killer. I don't want to hurt it by any means, but I need, I need to get, it needs to go bye-bye. I am headed to Bath and Body Works to return the four fall fragrances that I didn't like. I kept Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, but I'm returning Wet Vanilla and Spice, Crisp Orchard Leaves, Champagne Apple and Honey, which I did like, but I just don't need it, and Bright Autumn Blooms. I'm going to be their first customer of the day. Sorry, Bath and Body Works. Just wasn't feeling that start if I can car vlogging a little bit more. Say hello to my dolphin friend. <laughs> I recently got a car mount off of Amazon. I got a free trial membership of Prime um, to shop the Amazon Prime sale. And that is almost over and so I knew there were a couple of last minute things that I wanted to get and so I got a like little phone mount that I can vlog in my car and also for like GPS so that if I ever have to look up a location on my phone I can um, you know put it up on my dashboard and not have to constantly be holding my phone and trying to look at where I am going the directions but yeah I have never been like a huge vlogger but I would like to I would like to try um, I think vlogging is really Fun. I think it's a great way to look back on your like past days and everything um, and I just would love to see kind of what I was doing over you know the last couple of years of my life that I've had YouTube so they're not gonna be as super consistent or anything I'm just going to kind of see where this takes me so I hope you guys enjoy today's Tuesday August 7th I'm on my way to work right now and I um, just thought this would be a perfect time to chit chat about anything that's on my mind, you know? So maybe we'll call, the, call this like the car vlog series or something. Um, yeah, today is a voting day in Missouri. We're voting for Missouri to be a right to work state or not. So I am going to go vote after work. It's my grandpa's 84th birthday today. So that is exciting. We're gonna go out to dinner tonight. And we're going to go to Applebee's, which I'm excited about because they have a really great lower calorie menu that is very tasty. I went there a couple of um, weeks ago for another birthday dinner and I got the bourbon shrimp, bourbon chicken and shrimp or something like that. It comes out on a skillet like you would get fajitas and it was so unbelievably good. And it's about 600 calories. So you definitely can't beat it. It is one of the healthiest things there and it tastes like it is not a low calorie meal. So I'm really excited for that. <laughs> so if you eat out, you can still find things that are 
low cal. I'm sure not every restaurant has lower calorie options, but some of the like bigger chains at least do, and Applebee's is a great one. So if you're ever looking for some place to eat, um, Applebee's has a lot of great things. So I'm doing that today. I gotta work, and that is that is my day. So I figured just throughout the week. I can just to chat with you for a few minutes during the morning and if something is on my mind we can talk about it. I just watched um, the Bachelorette finale. Did you guys watch the Bachelorette? Bachelorette. <laughs> what do you think of the result? I actually knew, spoiler alert if you don't want to hear about the Bachelorette, I actually knew that Garrett was the winner. Um, like maybe like the third week in it got linked on, um, leaked on TMZ of course. Um, so I actually knew that he was the winner and I really like Garrett, but when I see her connection with Blake on the show, I really wanted Blake to win. I felt like he was a good fit for her. Um, and so, I mean, I knew that he wasn't the winner, but he was the one that I really liked the best. And they didn't announce who the new bachelor was, but I'm thinking it has to be him. I think he would be a really great bachelor. And then Bachelor in Paradise starts tonight, which I'm really excited to watch. I love these little like reality, terrible for my mind shows. <laughs> they don't bring me any learning, um, any knowledge, but they do bring me some entertainment. So I am going to watch that tonight. I'm also interested in that new show, Castaways, where they put a bunch of people on an island and I guess they try to find each other and just try to survive. I don't know the whole premise of it, but I love Survivor. It's one of my favorite shows ever. And so I think Castaways looks interesting enough for me to give a try. Um, so I'm gonna watch that tonight too, or I'm gonna record it to watch a different day. Um, but yeah, what else has been going on? Honestly, life has been just really routine lately. Um, and that could be good, that could be bad. I do try to get out of my routines a little bit, but there hasn't been anything like too crazy happening to me, um, which is good, nothing terrible. I, you know, I'm very happy in my life right now. Um, yeah, so nothing really else to talk about today. So I will see you guys maybe later or um, tomorrow and we can just kind of chit chat more. Have a good time. Happy Wednesday to you, even though it's probably not Wednesday when you guys see this. I am headed to work, but first I think I'm going to stop at Starbucks. So the other day I went out with my mom shopping and we were both really thirsty and so she wanted to go to Starbucks and I was like, okay, like maybe there's something relatively locale that I can get. So I ended up getting a mango dragon fruit refresher. Well, she got this iced caramel coffee. It's literally just like a cold iced coffee but it had caramel in it and no cream. It comes with cream, but get it with no cream. And it was so good and really low cal. I looked it up on my fitness pal and for a grande, it's 60 calories. Um, I guess pretty probably just for the, you know, like caramel syrup that they put in. And so ever since then, I've been thinking about it and I'm not like a huge coffee person. Um, I mean, I haven't had a cup of coffee in months, three months maybe. I enjoy it in the summer. I'm not really into it. In the winter, it's fine. But ever since I started um, this weight loss journey and counting calories and everything, it just wasn't something that I really wanted to add into my day because I'm definitely like a coffee with my creamer type person. I am like heavy on the creamer. I like super sweet coffee and that's the coffee I really love, but that just isn't fitting really to a healthy lifestyle. So. I kind of cut that completely. I do have the occasional cup of coffee with some almond milk creamer. It's tasty, it's not the same though. And in the summer, I just don't really want it, it's too hot. But today I've just really had a craving for some coffee. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I left about 15 minutes early for work. I'm gonna go get one of those. So on my way to do that, hopefully the line is not super long. All right, let's see this line. Only two people in front of me. Yes. Sometimes this line is super, super long. New sips. What do they have? Salted cream, cold foam, cold brew. That sounds really good. But I don't need any cream. That's what I'm trying to stay away from is the cream. 
Welcome to Starbucks, theme start a few. Hi there, can I get a grande iced caramel coffee? No cream, please. You said with or without cream? Without. Okay, anything else? No, thank you. Okay, $2.97. And that's how you do it. Hi, $2.97. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. All right. Pull off in this spot here and give this a try for get on the highway. So this is what it looks like. Grande iced coffee, caramel syrup, no cream. Definitely has a coffee flavor, so it's going to give you that kick of coffee and energy, but it has like the sweetness of the caramel. Mm, it's so good. And it was only $2.97. Super good. Hey guys. Long time no talk. I, I think today is the 12th, and I think the first time I started vlogging was the 4th. I... <laughs> I'm a terrible vlogger. Bear with me as I try to figure this world out because I would love to do it. But then when I get in public at like events and different things, like for one, I don't want to make the people that I'm with uncomfortable because I've got like a camera in their face or anything. And um, two, I just want to enjoy the moment and stuff. And then three, I just feel weird. Like I feel like people are staring at me and I don't know. I'm just not quite ready for for it yet, but if I think if I get some more practice in, I um, I can get there. But I just left Dollar Tree. I really wanted to just kind of browse at their fall stuff. I'm not gonna really get any of it, but just to look. And I um, I always get paperback books from Dollar Tree for my beach vacations. They're usually not that great. Sometimes they are like really good books um, that like Target or you know, some place like that has decided not to carry anymore. So sometimes they are, but sometimes they're just like weird and random. But I always try to get paperback books for, you know, a buck there for my beach vacations because I really read when I'm on the beach, like a lot. Um, and so we're going for two weeks. And so I probably need like four books, at least maybe five. And so every couple of like months, I will go and look at the books there and see if anything, it kind of intrigues me. So I have already bought two and today I bought three. So I have five books and that's going to be plenty for my vacation. But I like them because, you know, when I'm in the water and coming in and out of the water, like I'm going to get the books wet. So I don't want it to be a book that I spent a lot of money on. I don't want it to be a book that I have to take home. I, you know, I don't want to have to worry about the fact that it's getting wet. So I um, get those cause they're a buck once they're, um, gone like once I finish them I can just recycle them down there and not even bring them home and so that's what I usually do I'll take a couple paperback books down there that don't really matter and I will just leave them down there um, if they're not in too bad of condition I'll leave them in the condo she actually has like a book and magazine area you know where you can pick up different magazines and stuff to take on the beach so um, if they're not in too nasty of a condition, like pretty wet and sandy, I will leave them there. But anyway, so I just did that, and then I am headed across town to go to Walmart and Aldi. I like really didn't want to have to do this. Today's a Sunday, and I just really didn't want to have to go, but I really need to go. So I was like, just buck up and do it. Um, so I'm gonna go to Walmart first, get a couple of things, and then head to Aldi and get some groceries. Probably do like a big grocery haul after, so stay tuned for that, because I think I have to get like a pretty decent amount of stuff. I haven't been to Aldi in like two weeks or so. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I am a person that goes grocery shopping like once a week, whether I need to or not. And so I've really been trying to like not do that and just eat what I have because for one, I'm spending too much money on food. Two, I just have like a stockpile of different things that I'm not eating. So I want to kind of get through some of those things before I'm buying like a lot. Um, and so 
I tried to wait a little bit, and I have. I don't think I went for, like, I don't know, about two weeks, at least a week and a half, which is which is something for me. Um, but I am running out of some things that I eat all the time, just like staple items. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Walmart because I need my Crystal Light that I always drink. So I'm gonna get some of that, and I'll probably glance at the Fall Wax just because I can't help myself. I'm really struggling with this wax no buy with what I have seen on social media as far as what is coming out for the fall wax wise looks like some really good stuff so I'm hoping that I can you know be strong and just smell everything and just pick up what I absolutely love and I don't always do that and I'm I'm gonna try really hard to do that because the wax is out of control out of control um, so what else has been going on I last night I went to this like free concert series in town I'm sure your guys' cities probably have some of these too but we have a lot of tribute bands in the area which is great because most of the time they're pretty decent bands and um, they play like you know just live music of some of your favorite artists and so I love Bob Seger I'm a huge Bob Seger fan um, I probably am like the youngest fan he has, but I am a huge Bob Seger fan. I'm going to go see him in November. He's coming to St. Louis. And um, they have a, he's got a tribute band in this area, and I've seen them before, and they're pretty good. Well, they played last night at this amphitheater, this outdoor amphitheater, for free. So it's really cool. They, this amphitheater has this whole like summer concert series where you can go in. Um, listen to these different bands here and there and last night was this Bob Seger one and so I was super pumped about it and it's great when it's like okay if it's super super hot I don't have to go I don't have any money invested in it it was free but it wasn't bad last night I mean it was warm but once the sun goes down it's fine and everybody just brings lawn chairs you can bring in coolers you can bring in food um, yeah so I just got a beer like on the way from the gas station had a beer there set and it cost me all of like three dollars to buy my one beer and um, listen to some live music for a while. So I think it, it was a great, just fun, inexpensive little night out. And yeah, so if you guys have like tribute bands in your area, if you like live music, I'm a huge live music person. Um, so if you have tribute bands in your area or look them up and just see what they have. I saw a lot of people there that didn't really seem like they were even listening to the music much. They just all had like lawn chairs in a circle and they were just drinking and hanging out. So it was just like a fun place for people just to kind of gather and hang. So I did that. I'm back to work tomorrow. Ugh. It's just been like a weekend. I filmed so much this weekend. And I now I need to like sit down for like 18 hours <laughs> and edit and schedule and thumbnail and all that type of jazz. So once I get done with my like grocery and that type of errands this morning, I um, I might do that. But I am almost to Aldi and Walmart, so I am going to go do that, and I will catch you guys later. These are the books I got, just in case you guys were curious what I'm talking about as far as Dollar Tree books. This is Olive Kittredge by Elizabeth Strout, I guess, or the opposite. <laughs> I got that book. This looks like, you know, a little bit of a steamy, steamy romance. Um, high season. Glitter and Glue by Kelly Corrigan. Thought that was like a little short read. That part was true by Deborah McKinley. I think that's what her name is. And then the last one is Juniors by Cowie Hart Hemmings. So those are going to be the books, my little beach reads. In It's actually like not super hot out, <laughs> which is a really nice streak because it has been so hot lately. Just taking like a few minutes and taking a little bit of a break and sitting outside. I have like eight videos uploaded to YouTube that I need to like make thumbnails for fill out the description box, all of that type of stuff. Like it's edited, but it's not edited like within YouTube. And I'm super proud that I have that many videos like halfway done, but I feel like I'm just going to be sitting editing for like the next four days. 
So I'm just taking like a minute to like not be doing that, you know? But I'm going to end this vlog here. If you can call this a vlog, I don't know what this was. Bear with me. I, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> when it comes to vlogs. So we're just going to kind of wing it and see how life takes us. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog the same place I started it. Out in the backyard. Taking like a like a breath of fresh air. So I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me chit chat and drive around for like the last... I don't know, like two weeks, week and a half that I have been vlogging and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.